big. Like seriously, they're really cute and we have that coming up. All right. So now though, Philip, I have been so excited to present these. They are spec spectacular all of these beautiful not? real flowers so this is the cleomies you're going to get six of them it's the sparkler collection yes. they're wild so they really are they're like magic wands is, so first of all you're going to get six big nice ready to go plants just to show you, you're going yes. to get six of these philip i'm not familiar with this plant what is it it's well, amazing it's also called a spider flower it's a very mm. old-fashioned annual okay but the nice the nice thing about this one is it's a self seeding annual and what they will do is that they will drop the seeds um, in your garden at the end of the season. And I love it because you've got, got the little seeds that drop out mm -hmm. and uh, then they come back every year. I planted them in my garden six years ago. I still have them and they're not invasive at all. And mine are all mixed colors. You're getting in this collection two blush two lavender and two rose. And then once they seed, you'll get every kind of color in between. Oh, that's so cool. I love even like, I don't even want to call them stems. They're like stalks covered with leaves. This is the coolest looking flower. It, it really is. And also when the wind comes, uh -huh. they move back and oh, forth. They so they're do. gorgeous. These are great with ornamental grasses. If you like that, if you've got your Asiatic lilies, they, they will bloom first. And then these Cleomi start. By the way, these bloom all summer long. Oh, and okay. Each plant. See what you're looking at there. See the big display there? Yeah. That's one plant. And so I'm getting well, well three of the I'm getting I'm getting six of these so if you you're take getting, a look you're getting six so I'm getting double what we see out here on this set plant them three feet apart wow. because they will wow. absolutely fill up the area they're just gorgeous to have in the garden and you can have so other cool. things in there if you've got day lilies these are great to plant with your day lilies because oh, it they gives are. a color that you don't see and gorgeous against as you see the white fences just a great great handsome look but easy peasy, these are drought tolerant. Also, the deer will not touch these. Good to they know. They won't touch them. Now, but you did tell me what will touch them are the hummingbirds and all of those yeah. pollinators we want to take care of, right? Indeed, and that's what I love, the, all the pollinators, the hummingbirds, uh, the butterflies, um, the bees, and you'll see all manner of things coming to this. But I love the fact that they were low maintenance and they will also grow in very poor soil. The only place they'll not be happy is in a boggy area. But once they get established, they will take the drought. Plant them in hot baking sun, that's where they're the happiest. And these will carry on in every part of the country. And then those seeds come back, back down and then they come back next year. I want to show you the plants you are getting. You're going to get six yeah. of these plants. They already look like they are about to take off. Like I have. And they will. I have two of them here. You're going to get six of these. So imagine three plants in front of me times two is what you're getting. You get the beautiful hot pink, that gorgeous blush, and that lavender. They are the coolest looking flowers. And also, Philip, they will send you out a growing guide. And he writes yes. these. This is about as easy as it gets. Everything's explained right here. Yes, and the telephone number is there and also the website. So when your packages arrive, as soon as you open the boxes and inspect your plants, be sure to not throw the growing guide away. Save that because that'll be your little Bible. Yeah, I always just keep mine in like a manila envelope in my garage, all my growing guides right there. And um, it's nice to be able to go back and be able to look at them. But Philip, these get nice and tall and I'm looking through here and I'm not sure what yeah. all you can see on camera, but as I look through here, next to every flower is a flower about to happen. And that's what they call, they call those the axillary buds because the top, but the top bloom blooms first, then it sends out branches across the sides and it gets wider and wider. Just a really great, great look. I've got mine all around my ornamental grasses so cool. in the back and Hazel and I planted a monkey puzzle tree. So I planted these all underneath the monkey puzzle tree and they just look so beautiful there and I can see them from a distance. That's way back on the back property, but these are up and they're moving around in the wind and it's like, come on out and play. Can you come out and play today? I like the idea of getting a, like six flowers like this. I mean, you could totally, if like, they almost provide a little measure of like low, like privacy right like put them in the back against a fence if you don't like the look of a f chain link fence or yes. something like they're really cool and you're getting 
This times two, this is only three. You're getting six of these. Six of these yes, for three easy payments of $10.37. So $5 and change a piece. That is wild. And they'll, they're annuals, but they'll self seed. So, Philip, you say they're going to come back every year for me, right? Um, absolutely. They, they come back from seed, and you will want them forever. Because I'm just telling you, my grandmother had them, and I'm not going to be without my grandmother. So. Nice. Okay.